So we uh, after we go through the top ten, we uh, we actually went through and you know we said it's not fair that we only showed the good teams. Like I think some as a Bears fan who's lived in misery for misery years and on end since 1985 minus a little yep. hiatus for two years. 2006. Yeah. 2006 and uh, you know 2018. 10. 2010 and 2018. Yeah, I guess we had some years, but still, it sucks being a Bears fan, all right? We, we want to talk does. about the fucking worst drafts, all yes. right? Make and in some typical people, third down show fashion, we're doing a top three. Top all right. Three. Or, or I guess a bottom three, whatever whatever makes you three. feel better. Yeah. Now, the, uh, the first team I went with here, before I even put them up here, I just, I think this is, this is by far one of the worst drafts I've ever seen. Given by what you needed for your team. It's absolute garbage. And that would be the Washington Commanders, who are running out <laughs> with Sam Howell. And no one else. Terry yep. McLaurin and Sam Howell. It's great. Absolutely great. It's terrible. I think Emmanuel yep. Forbes went way too early. I would have taken Joey Porter Jr. over him. I think he's he's too small. He's too skinny. He kind of gives me the, uh, the Devontae Smith feeling, you know? Of like, mm, Bronte yeah. Smith, great wide receiver, don't get me wrong. But he's so small, though. You know, he's yeah. too skinny. He's going to get Worried hurt. about getting up and tackling, yeah. Yep. And I just, I, I can't give them any credit about the players they got here. I don't think any of them were good. I mean, for me, they're definitely more of a middle-of-the-pack team. But I like Emmanuel Forbes. He's a ball hawk, which is always a good thing, right? Getting turnovers, I think, is a good thing. I understand the size concerns, and I like Ricky Stromberg at uh, at center. I, I mean, he he might be the only reason that they didn't make my bottom three. You know, um, my bottom three has a as a, a kicker as their second pick in the entire draft. I I, I will say I will say behind this for the 49ers, uh, I I believe Robbie is leaving them. I'm pretty sure it no is. it's it's a known fact that Robbie's leaving. Maybe he'll come home. I don't know. I, I like J- Jake Moody was a great kicker in college. Great Good, kicker. Great kicker. Great kicker. Great kicker. In the third, third round. Third round. That's a little. It, it kind of brings back some Roberto Aguayo, Aguero, yeah. whatever. Uh, you know the uh, the Buccaneers kicker who just absolutely shit the bed. I yeah. think he's. I think Moody's gonna do better than him. For me, the 49ers, though they're they're already a solid team, and I yes. I will go down and say that if. If they didn't have so many injuries, mainly to Brock Purdy, if Brock Purdy played that last game, I think they beat the Eagles. I think they win. I think they go to the Super Bowl. That is what I, I was hoping agree. for. I really wanted them to go to the Super Bowl because that's a, a zero to hero type story right there. You know, the last pick, yeah. Mr. Irrelevant, wins a Super Bowl. I don't know if you beat the Chiefs. You know, it's a hard team to beat. But I think yeah. they were better than the Eagles and they just got hit by the injury bug. And. Right here, they're just uh, their entire draft. I feel besides the kicker was building depth. Now, but you, you know what they should have done, right? All right, they they lost Jimmy G in free agency, right? Yeah. Which they knew was going to happen. They're accepting, um, you know, uh, uh, trade calls for Trey Lance, right? Yes. So they're moving forward with Purdy, right? So naturally, what should you do? You should draft a quarterback. And instead, they drafted a kicker. Again, I love kickers, all right? I I understand he's a great kicker, but he had needs. You yeah. know, I, I understand that they're a filled-out yeah. roster, but they had needs. Only this they, could have, too- they could have gotten a really good backup, right? Hendon Hooker, maybe. I was, I was going to say um, Hendon Hooker. Tanner McKee. Third round. Hainer. Uh, there were good quarterbacks that went all the way down to the fourth, fifth, sixth rounds. They like, decided Hendon, to take a Hendon, kicker. Hendon, Hendon Hooker would have fit this team pretty well with his play style. It's, you know, it, it, it is what it is. The biggest the biggest what if for the 49ers this year is, will Purdy be healthy? Is he good to go? Is that throwing arm going to be healed up? Because I don't Did yeah. he even have surgery? I think he had two surgeries, I want to say. I thought he was looking at, like, different options instead oh, of Oh, 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 you're – um. Yeah, you, you might be right. Um, he might just be doing PT. And that, that's – you break your – your uh, I don't know. The, it, it was his elbow. I don't know the exact – or his – Yeah. I don't know the exact term for it. UCL, maybe that's what it is. Mm-hmm. It might be the UCL. It's – Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. You, ha you have surgery have surgery and get done with it you know he did he did have surgery okay he did have surgery now the yeah, question he is will he be surgery. ready for the time the season starts and that's just it that's why they weren't there for me they just did a bunch of they did a bunch of uh... i, I want to say he maybe waited to have surgery yeah I don't they know. just filled the depth. Yeah. I, I do wish they would have taken a quarterback, though. If they would have taken a quarterback like Henry and Hooker in the third round, they might have made my top ten, honestly, for best drafts. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they didn't. They didn't make my worst. They didn't make my best. That's just how it is. Definitely. Definitely my worst. Second worst team here. I believe we, uh, we got a little similarity here. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, Dallas, I think. Dallas Cowgirls. The Dallas Cowgirls. I believe that's exactly how you say it. The Dallas Cowgirls. Um, and after, after what I saw on draft night, I I think my reaction says it all, right? I think the biggest Mozzie is, Smith. Put a fucking shirt on. What put a doing? shirt on. Put a shirt on. <laughs> how hard? What are with these defensive tackles coming out there, <laughs> squeezing the fucking titty? And they're like, ah, you know, what are you doing? Just put a shirt on. You don't need to do all that. For anybody that does not know... Mozzie Smith, um, he, uh, he he showed up to his I don't know the the thing before the draft where you like freak out and and you know look cool. Everybody else had like an open jacket on, right? You know, showing off a little bit. But this guy, like, he said, "Screw the jacket, I don't need it." The, the nipple, jacket was off. Nipple. Yep, I think jacket the, was the, off. The biggest issue with this entire draft with the Cowboys is. You remember this. Michael Mayer was, there was, Jesus Christ, building up into that first pick. He they was spent, a cowboy. They spent the entire seven minutes of that pick zooming in on Michael Mayer, showing yep. his life, giving him a retrospective. The pick is in with the 27, 26th overall pick. The Dallas Cowgirls select Mozzie Smith, defensive tackle, Michigan. Did not show Mozzie Smith once. The first thing I see about Mozzie Smith is he has tits out. That's all I saw. <laughs> Went from Michael Mayer and his family to Mozzie Smith flexing. Smith. Yeah, and then and then they missed on tight end too. I I don't know if they necessarily missed, but like Luke Schoenmacher is not, you know, he's not Michael Mayer. No, um, not at he's all. not Luke Musgrave. No, uh, he's not um, Sam Laporta. No, exactly. Laporta. I mean, there were other tight ends. The the Georgia tight end that went to Pittsburgh. I mean. There were just other tight ends available, and they decided to go with Luke Schoenmacher, who I'm sure is going to be a great player, but it's a bit of a reach. Um, you know, both of them are, are a bit of a reach at round one and two. When you miss on the first two picks, yep. you belong in the bottom three. You do. Uh, honorable mention, though, the Marvian Overshone, great name. Uh, <laughs> Kansas State running back Deuce Vaughn. I don't know if you saw the clip on that. His father actually worked for the Cowboys. He's the one that gave his son the call saying, hey, we're drafting you. That was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He's like, hey, son, I'm glad you're here. But again, no, that's a heartwarming, uh, heartwarming moment isn't enough to get you out of the, the bottom three. And now the, uh, the last worst draft. With great pleasure. I take and say, <laughs> fuck you. If you're a fan of them, fuck you too. <laughs> the Green Bay Packers. Green Terrible Bay Packers. draft. Terrible draft. And you know what we Ain't said it. earlier about having a bunch of picks means you're going to pan out? No, no. You all, every one of these players sucks. Every one of them. Lucas Van Ness, great guy, went to Iowa. He's from Barrington, Illinois. He's a fan of the Bears. He doesn't want to be there. He's upset. I'm sure he's not <laughs> going to give his all. QB, Sean Clifford, I don't know if you saw this, came out 2014. The Packers lost to the Bears. He tweeted out. He said, yeah, fuck the Packers. Glad the Bears won. Hashtag Bear Down. <laughs> now he's stuck in misery playing for the Packers, too. Absolutely yep. no one there should be happy to be a Packer. Yep. I mean, for me, there's, there's more data behind it. I mean... Lucas Van Ness, in my opinion, is not is not it. Um, I I could have taken someone actually, better at thirteen. Could have taken. I I agree, and I mean JSN was there, right? They they need a wide receiver. Why is it that the Packers are so stuck on not getting any weapons 
with their first round pick. I mean, JSN, Zay Flowers, any of them, they were all, they're all good wide receivers. And you could be helping a first time starting QB, but instead you go with defense, Lucas Van Ness of all things. He reminds me of AJ Epineza who came out in 2020 um, out he, of Iowa. He didn't really they, do anything. They don't yeah. necessarily create edge rushers in Iowa. Um, so, I mean, I hope Lucas Van Ness pa uh, pans out. And for the Steelers, uh, or for the Steelers, for the Packers, I hope he does not pan out. I hope you go to another team and you pan out there. But Absolutely. Absolutely. Lucas Van Ness wasn't it for me. Um, I think that uh, I think that Musgrave was actually their only good pick. I do um, like the Musgrave. I'll give credit where it's due. I like yep. the Musgrave pick. I, I, I like Musgrave a lot. I actually think that he's going to be a really good replacement for Tunyon. Um, but again, you could have doubled down on the weapons. I think you should have doubled down on the weapons. Um, Sean Clifford, also not it. Um, Duggan was on the board. McKee was on the board. I mean, for, if for what it's worth, Sean Clifford had the worst grade on NFL.com for draftable quarterbacks. I'll be honest. I mean, there Sean, were undrafted quarterbacks that were worse than Sean, Cor Sean I, Clifford. I thought Sean Clifford was the goddamn coach of the Penn, of Penn State. I didn't even know who this guy was. Never even heard of him. Yeah. Never even heard of him. Terrible. Yeah. A terrible draft. I will say, Grant Dubois. 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 Oh, Dubois. That sounds good. Grant Dubois, the Frenchman <laughs> out of Charlotte. I, I have heard a little bit about him. I think he might be okay. I don't think he's going to see the field seventh round wide receiver because the Packers can't, you know, pan anything out. But it's about time you all suck, you live in misery, and you bend over and you just take it. That's it. Just take it. Because <laughs> now Lucas Van Ness from Barrington, let me, let me say, Sean Clifford, fan of the Bears, they're going to fuck you. That's what they're going to do. They're going to do everything in their power. Say, oh, let me, let, me, let me move out of the way so Fields can run through real quick. If Love, if Love gets injured week one like we know he will, Sean Clifford going to say, oh, let me take this sack real quick to help you out. You know, It's about time you all suck. We're about to own you. Yeah. 40 years of having good quarterback plays is no. a gift, right? Welcome to misery. Welcome to misery. <laughs> Did exactly um, what you honorable mention to the other NFC North team in the Vikings. I don't know what you're doing. Get a, get a quarterback, get anything else. You decide to replace a, a wide receiver that you just allowed to leave. So I thought you were okay with it, but you decide to replace him anyways. Only, only reason they didn't make my bottom three was Jordan Addison. And I think it's probably the same with you. Jordan Addison's going to be a good player. But again, Spe like, especially they across had... from Justin Jefferson, but nothing yeah, else on that team. That team is a fucking shit show. What are they doing? Anything can look good across from Justin Jefferson, right? Oh, like, absolutely. I, he could make me look good on the other side, okay? I don't know about that. I don't think you'd get I off the block. I think he could. I no, think I he could. I think you're getting Don't make impressed. me hit the gritty. Don't I... make me hit the gritty right now. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, We're hitting the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think I think that uh, Jordan Addison's going to be a good player, but... Um, they could have done better, right? They could have put any anybody uh, next to Justin Jefferson. They, I think there were bigger to. needs. I I would have honestly taken Will Levis to them. You give him someone, someone new. I, Kirk is not. I don't think Kirk's ever been the answer. Kirk is a great regular season quarterback. He always has been, but when the lights turn on, nothing happens. Yeah. Nothing happens. I think the farthest they went in the playoffs recently is because of Case Keenum. Yep. It wasn't even Kirk Cousins. It was Case Keenum. Yeah. And I think it was almost the exact same team. Minus Justin Jefferson. They got Justin Jefferson, and then they, they still didn't do as good. Yeah. It's terrible. But, yeah, it's an it's honorable mention for the Vikings. Yeah. We don't, we don't hate you as much as the Packers. You, know, you guys are okay. Yeah. You chill. 